and welcome to your Go Market Update for today, Tuesday the 28th of June 2022 with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst for Go Markets. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news. Overnight on the US, we didn't get follow through on Friday's very strong session. Slightly weaker, very choppy. We've still got this caution over the medium term economic conditions and of course concerns about inflation ongoing. Energy outperformed uh, as a sector as we saw oil price rise a little again. US futures are higher in Asia and Asian indices are slightly positive. So ignoring that weaker US lead, ASX up around about 0.1%, so only mildly to the upside. European futures are also pointing to a positive open this afternoon. In the Forex world, the US dollar index was pretty neutral yesterday, still testing support. And oil is trading higher, as we've already indicated and has moved back towards 115 as a key level. Copper's paused following its significant move down last week. Looks as though it might be just brewing for a little bit of a bounce, but it's too early to call at this stage. And the VIX is still trading below 30, suggesting that caution is simply caution, not an increase in market fear. Bitcoin is really not performing at all still. It's still holding that 20K support. Is trading in a very tight range between 20 and 21, slightly to the downside in Asia today. On the economic data front, we've got US housing data and we've got consumer confidence numbers coming out of both the US and Germany. We do ramp up a little bit on Wednesday and Thursday with some of the data that's coming across the wires. So just be aware that that is the case. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that have grabbed our interest today. Uh, we're going to start with GNC, Grain Corp Limited on the ASX. You can see we've got what resembles a double bottom type of formation there with a key level at around about 9.52. We are up today and trading towards the high of the candle, even though it is a little bit down on open. Uh, but this is an important level. If we see a breakthrough of this, we could see ourselves starting to move significantly higher again after really what's been a couple of weeks weakness in this particular stock. In FX, the Aussie Yen has caught our eye as well. We've got a key level here on the daily chart at 93.76. There isn't another key level until around about this 95 cent level. Let's just have a look at a 30 minute chart, more detail on this. And you can see we had a fairly big drop yesterday morning early on, and then we recovered throughout the day. We've been pretty neutral for most of the back end of the US session and early in Asia, but you can see now we're just starting to pick up. We're just going to shift this level here up to that high 93.91. Let's call it 94 and we'll wait for a break through that. And if it does, then we have plenty of upside. Just pop it on the four hourly chart there for a minute. You can see we've got plenty of upside potentially to around about 95 cents. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.